So, uh, yes, hello. Well, we have uh, some starting problems, but uh, we wanted to show you a live demonstration, and usually live demonstrations don't work. Um, so we have the same effect, but we, we're going to try to uh, tell you what, to, uh, we, what we are going to do. Um, so basically, uh, what I also explained in the beginning was we wanted to create a virtual conducting experience. And uh, the last uh, 24 hours were uh, quite full of many, many, many ideas. And um, our ideas were uh, went from how do we get the music into Unity and the, to the system towards uh, how can we make uh, an enjoyable game out of it, how can we create conducting gestures without any button clicking. So the idea was really can we um, make a unique experience and can we give you the feeling of what's it like to be a conductor. And for that we needed to have a virtual stage. So I hope uh, we can, you can see anything here on the screen. It's a little bit dark in the beginning. And we also have sound, that's a very important part. So I hope <laughs> there's some sound coming up. <laughs> no? Okay, well, we have to uh, de delay our wonderful presentation for later. If you could turn down the sound, I will just explain it. Um, what we did is uh, we tried to uh, create a spatial sound for Beethoven's fifth. And the first thing what we achieved was you can go through a virtual orchestra. That's what uh, we tried to do, and it really works. <laughs> you, can work uh, you can walk through um, the musicians when they are playing, and you can listen to the different um, changes in, in sounds uh, depending on where you are standing. When you are the conductor, of course, everything is a little bit equal because they are in f uh, around a circle in front of you. Uh, but the moment you start going through uh, the musicians, you get a different sound experience. That is something that is already a great achievement, and we, uh, we are really happy to see that the, the engine that we used uh, is capable of uh, having many different sound channels and using that uh, for this specific spatial hearing experience. Um, the second part is uh, we managed to create uh, unique gestures uh, with the controllers. So you can um, give a certain uh, signal to a certain instrument group that they have to start their music. If you don't do it, uh, the 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 music uh, the musicians group will delay their uh, entrance and it will hear a little bit off. So we also found a very nice and interesting um, create uh, like a way to to gamify the idea of a conductor. So we try to make it as realistic as possible, but also as fun as possible, so that even a person without any background can intuitively use the system. Um, we also uh, tried to create um, a certain way of uh, communicating with the whole orchestra, so uh, maybe you can just grab it. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay, something is working. So I'll just comment a little bit what's happening. So there's our logo. Um, Julian will look around, and it's all dark and black because, of course, you will start. Um, you have here the different uh, types what you can do. First of all, we have our audience, of course. Uh, but please, Julian, look, uh, uh, show us the different musician groups. Um, we have the different types uh, color coded, so you know where everybody is. And uh, obviously, n the music is not starting because our conductor Julian has to give the first act of uh, movement, which he can do now. And basically what he can do now, and we wanted to show this proof of concept, is he can look at a specific group of people and give them the 
signal to um, go into uh, their music style. So we can uh, we created a system where uh, certain uh, groups can uh, be activated and delayed, and we can uh, enhance the volume of them and also slow down. What you also can do is the the more he uh, uh, works with the metrum, he can ma make the whole orchestra louder. Uh, and if he slows it down, if he goes with slower movements, everybody will also play quieter. So these are uh, ways, and we are really happy that this works, that we just con check the, the movement of the controllers. And with the movement of the controllers, we know um, how he wants Beethoven's fifth to be played. And um, of course, it's not the end. We wanted to do much more. Um, but it works, and uh, the next idea is, of course, you see the, uh, the, the podium in front of you. There will be the notes, uh, and we work together with uh, MuseScore uh, to get these notes, also to get the MIDI files, um, and basically also an automation system. Because wouldn't it be interesting if you take all the notes, the annotated notes from MuseScore, and you can just plug them in here, and you can try to play to interpret uh, every uh, piece that is available on MuseScore. So this is a goal that we want to do. Also, the gamification part is not quite ready yet, but uh, for 24 hours till 4 o'clock in the night, we are really, really happy to create a virtual orchestra, to you created a spatial hearing sound, and even the interaction with only movement. So thank you very much. <laughs>